Let's take a look at ventilation design considerations. I'm Aniruddha Nataker, Sales Application Engineer for Cummins Power Generation. This diagram illustrates the scientific maxim that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only converted to another form. In fact, electrical power generation is the conversion of some form of kinetic or chemical energy into electrical energy. Of course, since this is a process, it is less than 100% efficient. So some of the energy, 65% in this illustration, is converted to thermal energy or heat rather than electrical power. To make more efficient use of the available energy, some waste heat can be recaptured. Combined heat and power, or CHP, applications make use of radiated heat. But even in these applications, a lot of heat is radiated to the surrounding air. In fact, if you have several large generator sets in one location, they can create their own microclimate from the heat they give off. This is important since the higher ambient temperature affects the air intake, which in turn affects the generator performance. So, it's important to design the proper ventilation for a project, which considers all four aspects. Keeping the combustion air at the right temperature, cooling air for the alternator, removing excess heat from the room if it is indoors, and providing air to cool the radiator. Now we dive into the details of rating and classifying radiators. These are the factors involved. Where they are installed, the temperatures they are rated to handle, and how those ratings are determined. There are two ways to measure the performance of a cooling system. Ambient temperature and what's called the air on core or AOC. When a cooling system is rated for ambient temperatures, what is measured is the temperature of air on the inlet side of the system before it picks up heat from the alternator and the engine components. This temperature is typically measured as an average of two points as shown in the diagram. In the case of enclosed generator sets, the temperature is typically measured at the air inlet louver. The AOC temperature, on the other hand, is measured on the face of the radiator. The air flowing through the radiator is significantly warmer than the air entering the system. So AOC temperatures are higher than corresponding ambient ones. There is great value in designing the engine and the cooling system to work together, as Cummins does. There are no surprises from putting an engine and a cooling system together on site for the first time. Loose radiators sourced separately can have temperature ratings based on different measurement methods, as we have just discussed. This can be very misleading. In contrast, Cummins provides cooling systems well suited to the generators they are paired with to account for all four kinds of air requirements. Combustion air, cooling air for the alternator, room heat, and air to cool the radiator. Here is a classic example of what can happen from a mismatch of an engine and a cooling system based on confusion about temperature ratings. Take a factory tested genset with a cooling system rated at 50 degrees centigrade ambient. But by the time the air reaches the radiator core, it could easily be at 60 degrees centigrade. That would be the air on core measurement. If a loose radiator is bought that has a 50 degrees C rating, that could refer to the maximum allowable temperature at the core. Such a radiator would fall short on performance and may fail. It is much better to have an engine and radiator designed and tested to work together. That's why there is great value in the kind of well-documented factory testing that Cummins does. Such testing simulates the airflow in a typical power room and uses dedicated instruments to measure the ambient temperature at various points. Two other kinds of tests are also valuable. A thermal cycle test, which evaluates radiator cores for resistance to mechanical stresses by alternating hot and cold environments, and an endurance test, which runs the system for an extended period of time to estimate its lifespan. There is no better alternative to a tried and tested system coming straight from the factory. A do-it-yourself approach to cooling systems can bring unknown risks and problems. To learn more, contact your local Cummins Power Generation distributor or visit www.cumminspower.com.